Though they're they're taking him to the Okay. Hey everyone, my name is Vincy Victory, but you can call me Vivi, and I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. On today's episode of Dreamfall The Longest Journey, we're gonna continue in uh Mercuria, which is in the like realm of Arcadia, so it'll be really cool to see. Let's get into it. Okay. And I still have the glowy egg. Oh, no, she... I don't know where she put it, but we don't have the glowy egg no more. Yeah, I have no idea where she put the glowy egg. Hey, wait. Okay, um... Don't mind me, I'm just stuck inside someone's house. I sort of look like... I don't know. Come on, let me out of here. Let's keep kicking. Oh, no one's here right now. It's probably for the best. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> A wondrous place. Oh. Please, no one find it strange that I'm just... I came from your basement. Just like in the real world. Well, let's get out of here. It seems like we're behind the counter. Hello? Marina. Visitor. What are you on about, Bryn? Uh, I'm, she's on about that I'm here. Um, hello? Oh, blessed be the sixth child you I'm sorry, you. English. Oh, thank God. Listen, I'm not sure what's up. Speak what? Who are you? E what do you mean? Uh, I. I don't know. I think I'm. Aren't we dreaming? Dreaming. It's just that no matter what I do, I can't seem to wake up. Dream. This is no dream, child. Yes, maybe that will help. Honestly, at this point, I'll try anything. No, no, that's... I'm... The twins, they did something to me. Something... How did you get in? We don't open until midday. Open what? The inn, child. What do you think? Are you soft-witted or... I am very startled. From the other side, aren't you? No. What? Graciously. Another shifter. Why do they always end up here? Uh -huh. Another what? You must go see Minster Magda immediately. She will explain everything. All right. Minster Magda. Leave now, but be cautious and don't speak All right. to anyone. They have ears everywhere. I'll just trust Look, your word for it. I don't know what's going on. And I don't know what a shifter is or why I'm supposed to see this Magda person and I don't know either. Frightened child. You don't understand. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm almost starting to think that those stories Charlie told me about April Ryan are true. Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. No. Do you know her? No. I don't recognize the name. She I totally does. And so does he. He ran out as soon as I said that. I feel like I'm being lied to. No dream. Where can I find her? She moves around. A blind Bob ought to know where she is. All right. She's right outside. You can't miss him. Sure. Blind Bob, Minstrum Magda, underground cities and strange monsters. I feel like I'm inside some kind of. We fight. are. All right. I'll go talk to um, Blind Bob. Thank you. Thank you for nothing. Marina Salmon, child. I'm the innkeeper of the Journeyman Inn. Okay. If you ever need anything, come see me. I'll help you the best I can. Well, thank you I'm kindly. Sorry. And thank you. I'm sure I will yeah, see you again. Yeah, thank you. You're the only person I know in this... this place. And we don't even know you that well either. Okay, time to leave this hellhole. And so we can go back... To our world. I don't know what our world's called, but it's anything's better than this. Blind Bob. That's probably Blind Bob right there, sitting. Doing nothing. Probably being blind. What's this pillar into the sky? It's so fantastical. Oh yeah, you're Blind Bob for sure. poor old blind bastard with no home no hearth. No. Nope. I'm so sorry. I don't have any money. Ah, well, I'll let you in on a huh? secret, Rose Petal. Blind Bob's happy don't have no home to hearth. All right. Hated him. 
left to begin a career in beggaring. A career? Now a pauper's life is a king's life. Freedom. A pauper. No I don't know what that no word means, but I imagine it means like a poor person. You think, but no. Had a bit of an accident with a fire charm when I was a wee. Oh, left me permanently that's not temperate. good. It's actually quite pleasant. But what about that whole being blind thing? That can't be good. Probably not. It's theoretical. Theoretical? I could have been blind. Had an accident with a chemical spell when I was a wee lad. Near burned me eyes out. So are you blind or are you not? No, no, not at all. Miss blind Bob's face by a mile. Could have burned me oh, eyes no. out. Oh no. Could very well have. So oh, so he can see. Blind. Of course, theoretically blind Bob is no proper name for a beggar. So okay. I mean, that makes sense. Theoretical blind Bob, uh, we would not take pity on. Blind Bob, we might. Help. Can I ask you a question? You can ask. I might answer. I might not. Well, you better. I'm looking for someone. The innkeeper said you might know. Her name is... Hold it right there, Rose Petal. Tit for tat. I'll tell you what you need to know. What do you mean? If you want blind Bob to do you a favor... You do him one first. All my favor is to ask you where something is, so I'll tell you where something is. So you know, I don't have any money. Well, Rose Petal, you seem to be cozy with old Ben Remahay in there. Ha, now she makes a robust mold wine. Sure, I'll steal wine for you. Winter's morning. But Ben Remahay, she don't take well to blowing Bob sitting on her doorstep. Or I can just find this person on my own. Recompense of sorts. You want mulled wine? Oh, a bottle would do nicely, Rose. Okay, I'll try to get mulled wine. Made with Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. Oh. Mulled wine made with Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. Fine. I feel like this is not gonna be good. Thanks, Petal. You made a theoretically blind man. Oh, you've made a grown woman very not happy. I'm not happy with theoretically blind Bob. Not at all. Hey, Ben me. Wine. Wine me up. I spoke with Blind Bob, but he wouldn't tell me anything. Ah, yes. Tip for tat. Yeah. Given a chance to bargain, Blind Bob will take She's it. gonna make me do something for her, isn't he? Mold wine. He wants mold wine made with... Uh, Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. For a beggar, Blind Bob is quite particular. That is sort of strange. <laughs> if I can't find Minstrel Magda, I can't get home. If I can't get home... Calm down, child. I will help you. <gasps> I wonder if Reza is here. Wine and I can heat it up maybe Re maybe that's what happened to Reza. I was supposed to receive a delivery this morning, but no one has been... Born. Yeah, she's gonna and make me do something. To get them myself. E maybe could pick up the spices for you. You could. I buy my spices from a merchant at the south. I don't know what's going on with their voices. It's like on the left. it's been doing this in random places. Just telling and in other places it's order of Mrs. it's like not it, it's fine. And be sure to mention that I'm not happy he did not make his delivery as scheduled. Okay, I'll beat him up for you. Some wine on the boil while you are away. Thank you so much. On the boil. Do you have to boil wine to make wine? Uh, I'll figure it out. Thank you. Okay, so left and then another left is what I should do. Because if east towards the tower, the tower is to the left. I assume they mean that big tower. So left towards the tower. And then when I get to the town square, I go left again. And that will left to south. Oh, this... Palace place looks really pretty. What's with all the tents? This sort of looks like a military base. Hey, the really big tower. So we on an adventure. Probably gonna get my head chopped off. But hopefully not. Uh, hello, good sir. Please. It's not done? All right. Uh, I don't think this is the way I need to go, but I'm gonna go. All right. 
So where where did I need to go? I don't think I needed to go to Oh the market. We found the market. Hey, what are you? Are you the spicy lady? Are you the spicy lady? Good morning, dear. You look hungry. No, I want spices. All profits go to the refuge. We I have no no money. No, thank you. I'm not hungry. And I have no money. Dear, come back if you change your mind. Okay, guy. Hello. Hello, hello. It spawned me on the other oh, side. Morning, we're having. How may I be of service today, young lady? Where is the spices? Secret, the journeyman sent me to pick up an order of Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. It's for mulled wine. Yeah. Oh, now where is it? Buff it up. Cauldron in town. She does absolutely wonderful. I'll have them sent right up. Fantastic. Right now. Hold on. Ben Remay needs the spices right now. You could just give them to me and I'll deliver them for you. Why, yes. Yes, I could give the spices to you. He's being sarcastic, I think. Saves me from having to deliver them, doesn't it? Fantastic. No problem. None at all. I'm being sent on fetch quests by everyone. I hate Except all the NPCs here. There's a tiny, tiny problem. Nothing major. Nothing that can't be You don't have them? Barely worth mentioning. You see, the thing is, I don't... I'm gonna beat him up. I'm gonna beat him up. Isn't this the spice store? Ben Remay told me to go to the spice store. Well, then you've certainly come to the right place. I sell spices and little else. You're gonna sell me these spices now. I'm gonna beat you into next week. Or any lands. It's just that, well, my delivery is a tiny bit delayed this morning. Really? How delayed? Oh, I'm sure it'll be here any quite a bit to be honest with you. Quite a bit. Just let me beat someone up and I'll I really need those spices. I will Can't get them anywhere else. I will beat someone up for these spices. I don't care who. You know, Even if it's a child. Point me to what child stole your spices. This is the only store that carries Mrs. Mellon's mixed spices in Marcuria. Marcuria. I really do need those spices. Like, now. I wish I could be of more help, young lady. But as long as the ghetto's closed, the Does no one else know where this ghetto? weird oh, thing is? Towner. Welcome to Marcuria, etc, etc. Wonderful, wonderful. So what about the ghetto? Right. Well, the Azadi have set aside a section of Old Town for the Magicals. Okay. That way they for the Magicals? We don't bother them, they don't bother us. Fantastic. Wonderful. They segregated the people? Well, once in a while, the Azadi help the magicals weed out undesirables. Oh and no. Go down, search the buildings for criminals and contraband. A sort of spring cleaning, if you will. It's not even spring. Is stuck in it's winter. Traffic. On the other side of the ghetto, up Burrow Crook, towards Coldstone Gate. Why, right below the journeyman. I just uh. came from there. Right. So you do. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't we help each other out, eh? If you pick no. my delivery of Mrs. Mullins mixed spices, our specialty, and bring them back here, I can give you Ben Rime's order. Sure, why not? I guess it beats waiting around. Fantastic. You'll want to speak with Ari Kinran. Ari Kinran. But a decent fellow at heart. He'll be up I hate this guy. Right below the journeyman in. You can't miss him. Yeah, sure. Ask him for Mrs. Mullen's mixed spices. He'll try and get some money from you, but the order's been paid for already. Okay. With a beard, wagons, burrow crook. So we're not giving him any money. Best. Come right back here with the spices, and I'll give you Ben Remay's order. Wonderful, fantastic. Just because we're a girl, I'm not afraid to beat no one up. And by no one, I mean actually everyone. I'll even fight the guards that have spears. Don't don't test me. We will beat everyone up because these spices are really important. And I need to find the whatever minstrum lady. Oh no. Selling medicine to the magicals. It is, don't you? Treason. And Sadir that have your head off. In a second. This is not Sadir. This is my curia. That might not warrant an appointment. Are they even the same race? 
But we'll find a way to get you shipped off to Sadir. Move it. <gasps> so they're they're taking him to the Okay. So they're taking him to their country to have him executed. That is why. Like, he should have run away. I know he's old, but, like, run, man, run. Now, we have to find... I have no idea what their names are, but we'll... No, you're not. You're theoretically blind. Oh, there we go. You just sit in here. You can walk with the supplies, you know? I hate everyone here. Everyone needs to... Not necessarily die, but they need to do better. May the six grant me strength. As if this morning hasn't been trying enough. Now, what do you want, gal? I Your order? Tell me. I'm not in the mood for idle chatter. That's not idle chatter. Magicals? <laughs> Damn ghetto rats. And those rebels? More like terrorists, if you ask me. Not okay, like yeah, this is nice and good. The order. Give. Why? This guy has been so rude. Freedom? Freedom for who? From what? It's not like the Azadi are keeping us in prison. In fact, well, that old man got imprisoned. If this is oppression, I don't want to be liberated. Listen, I. Ye gods, I mean goddess, there's only one, blessed be her name, etc. You are so annoying. Listen to me, I just spoke with the spice merchant at the south gate. <laughs> I like that she called him annoying. I wait until they reopen the ghetto, just like everyone else. I will deliver it for you. He sent me to pick up a delivery of, um, Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. What? No, that's, um, all right. It's irregular, no. but I reckon I can part with it for a fair price. It's already paid for. He said it's been paid for already, and that you'd probably try to weasel more money out of me. For the love of... I'll just tell him we'll sort it out when I get down there. Mind you, it could take a while. Doesn't look like they're reopening the ghetto any time soon. You give me the spices or you die. But you choose. But he spices right away. He's out of stock. I keep hearing this buzzing sound in my ear, but I don't see any black flies around. Only you. You can ignore me all you want, but I'm not leaving. If you think you're having a bad day, you should try mine on for size. By the Mojals. I mean, by the grace of the six, blessed be the name. Who's the six? If you leave me be, I'll give you the bloody spices. Now. And now. Thank you. The goddess, and for the sake of my sanity, let me be miserable in peace. Sure. Absolutely. Won't bother you again. Thank you. Uh, I love it. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. You suck. I don't want to have to deal with him anymore, and I won't. We'll just go back to the guy and give him the spices, and then we'll be back to give the spices to... What's her face? And then she'll give us wine, and then we can give the wine to the theoretically bl blind Bob, and he'll tell us where to find that magical person. Simple, simple, simple. Simple, but with like 20 tasks to do. I hate all the tasks. This has just been one big fetch quest. So now it's time to give him the spices. Uh, don't play games with me, mister. I just want the spices. Okay. I got Here you spices. go. That's wonderful. Fantastic. What spices? Oh, for crying out. You asked me to pick up your spices. Remember? Why is he trying to sell stuff when he has nothing? Oh, yes, I remember. Mrs. Mullen. He seems like oh, goodness not all there in the head. Young lady, how indescribably wonderful. You're welcome. Now, about Ben Remay. Ben Remay. Who? Hmm? Uh, ben Remay. Oh yes, one pouch of I swear to God. Mixed spices for the everyone in is everyone in my carrier annoying? Thank you. Fantastic, wonderful. Enjoy your. I'm never coming back. Do come back. No, you get out of here. 
Well, actually, I'll get out of here, but never talk to me again. Oh, everyone in this town is so annoying. I can't wait to get back to the real world because this place sucks. I, I don't like this place at all. I really hope someone found her body in the real world. And I'm not like just still there doing nothing except like being passed out. Like how did they even let it happen? Because Charlie, like, he told us it's the safest place in the world or whatever. Or in the town, at least. Yet, he let us get killed. Well, attacked, but still. Oh my god. No, no, no. Take your damn spices. Give me the damn wine. Spices. But I got the spices. It took you long enough, child. Did you get lost? No. No. But I had to do a lot of running around. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Better. Just give me the wine. Now. Good. There's a pot of red wine in the kitchen. Mix the spices in. You said you were gonna make it. Now you're making me do work. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your help. No, I don't. Well, you look like you need all the help I can give you, child. You know what? <laughs> Shut up. Time to find the pot of red wine. Maybe it's downstairs? I, I don't know where the kitchen is supposed to be. I broke her door. I still feel kind of bad for that. No, this is not the kitchen. I don't know how I got past that, uh... I don't know how I got past that, but I'm not gonna complain. Oh my god, is this the kitchen? Where is the kitchen? Let me take. Oh, wait. There's red wine boiling in that cauldron. Oh, I found it. No, 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 no. There we go. We finally put the spices in, and now I need the wine. I don't want to let it boil. I just want to take it and leave. I never want to come back to this place. I just want to go home. Okay, old man. Here's your damn wine. I'm just a old wine made with Mrs. Mullins with mixed spices. And to eat. Ah, the sweet scent of Mrs. Mullins and Riverwood Red. Give it here, Patrick. Let yeah, sure. Quick. Now tell me where that magistrate is. Ah, by the balance that hit the spot it did. I will pick you. You've earned yourself a silver star in Blind Bob's book. And information. It wasn't easy getting it. Without the journey, the reward is not half as sweet. So I did all this work, and all you're gonna tell me is tell me where to go. This is a very unfair balance of favors. The sky's a different color. Today it's green. No, it's not. Give me. Hi there. Tell me. it's ye. What tidings of joy do you bring me this time? The magistrate Magda. Magda. Oh, Minstrom. Oh, he knows her. Blind Bob does. He knows her well. Okay. Now tell me. Best sort not soup south of Lame Bastard Hill. Do you know where she is today? Oh, she moves around. Magda does. Ain't seen her around here in a while. You might try asking someone other than Blind Bob. Are you being serious right now? I don't know anyone in the city. Well, you might have more luck asking Crazy Clara. Lives up Crab Bend, Clara does. And hang okay, and where is that? View of Friar's Keep. Crazy as a turnip, Clara is. But she's also got a scooping's <laughs> eyes. She knows more than she lets on. I hate it here. Oh, oh my god, don't talk to him. We're friends now, ye and I. No, we're not. Never speak to me again. I will not. You don't need a donation. You need help. More help than I'm willing to give. Let's be honest. He needs help from me. Because I'm this close to just roundhouse kicking him. Okay, so we gotta find a lady named Crazy Clara. Ooh, hopefully... She's around here somewhere. Okay, we can try to see if Crazy Clara is up here now. 
because, well, we have to go to the fire's keep. And I would imagine that it. Oh, are you crazy, Clara? Hi there. Are you crazy? We almost called her crazy Clara to her face. You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to be punished. My baby. Uh, my baby. Yeah, no, I, I see. She's a little, uh. Magda. I'm looking for Minstrum Magda. The Minstrum are evil, Clara. They cloud your mind with their spiritual claptrap. My baby is gone. Okay, maybe. Um, you wouldn't happen to know where Magda is, would you? All gone. All gone. Did she die? There's no chance you'll turn uncrazy for a moment and answer my question, is there? Gone. Gone. I like that she asked I that. Don't think so. No. So you lost something, or someone? Yeah, this baby. Yes, that part I got. Your baby. Is it a child? A pet? Uh, him in the net, just like a butterfly. What That's is it though? Is Probably an animal. Now, can we? Boxed him right up. We'll take care of him. Put him <gasps> Maybe it's a magical. Pretty thing. Poor thing. My baby. So it is your pet. A dog? Cat? I'm guessing there are stranger pets in this world. No stranger. Best friend. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. No, please, no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? Yeah, just... The ghetto's close. Stand back. What's that you've got there? I um, give us that thing. Run don't run away. With all the these people. The took him. What did they do with him? We'll take care of him. We will. No. I, I do feel kind of bad for her. Her baby got taken by the Azadi. The Azadi seem like they're very... Like, they're just jerks. Yes, if I can. I'll try. Do you know where he is? Caged up like the twinkles in a diamond. Never coming home? Okay, but where is this cage? Never, never. Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? So, I have no idea where her baby is, but maybe I should go the other way, because they talked about... She was talking about the Azadi, it seemed like, the soldiers. And there are soldiers this way. Uh, if it's not this way, then it is the other way where I was going before, but we'll see. These doors and windows are all locked or boarded up. Oh, no. Does anyone even live here anymore? Probably not. I mean, it sounds like the Azadi are kind of killing a lot of people. Is this her baby? Hmm. It doesn't seem like it. Hey, you. Rude, okay. Because you're just... These people have come out of nowhere. It's th These people are foreigners. These Azadi? And they've just taken over. So, of course, they would have no respect. I don't think anyone would like it if just random people came by enforcing their rules, their, like, law. I wonder if that old man is her baby. That'd be sort of weird. Can I go in this giant tower? Oh, let's go over here. Over here looks like there might be something. Well, at least maybe I can find something. Fingers crossed. No, okay, it was just an empty door. Time to go somewhere else. Hey, you can't go in there. Why not? What? <gasps> There's her baby. Okay, what if? What if I go while this guy is like covering the view? Oh, <gasps> we did it! The baby. The pet. baby. It's really cute. Release the baby. Go back to your... Go back to your guy. Oh no! Oh, it's scared of it. Oh no! It's freed! All the animals are free. Okay, let's go back to Clara. Hopefully she'll be uncrazy for like a second or two. 
so that she can finally tell me where to find Megda. Someone needs to tell me where Megda is because this is getting ridiculous. Oh, uh, you know, this place is very pretty though. Like I'd love to live in a place like this sort of. Maybe not this specific area of town because it's all like boarded up and abandoned it seems like, but you know, this fantasy setting seems really cool to live. Clara, my main girl. Now give me information on Magda. I'm trying to find Minstrum Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? Just one second. You need to find Minstrum Magda. Tell me where Magda. Soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh yes, please. Right you are then. Soup lady is Magda? Soup, our favorite. What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup I know kitchen. exactly who she is then. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Oh, that's and nice of her. Peas and carrots in it. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps too. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? I know exactly I where it is. It's just in the market. She's nice, she is. The soup lady. You ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a cup too. Okay. Where? The market? We're just down the street, Clara, at the Southgate Market from sunrise till midday every day. You come by in. I feel a little disturbed that she's talking in like third person. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, okay? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. Okay, bye, crazy lady. I I thought there was something suspicious with the soup lady. Like she she just seems kind of out of place. And I, I don't know I can't put my finger on it, but she just she seems out of place. Soup lady. Yo. Come on. Hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Yes, I would. I'm homeless. Mm, Magda? No, thank you. Are you Minstrum Magda? Shh, not so loud. There are ears everywhere. Who are you? He's a snitch. We have to get rid of our Magda. snitch I don't know tendencies. Magda. There are no Minstrum in this city. Not anymore. But you are Magda. That you, that Minstrum... Like I said, there are none left. I didn't know that. I don't know anything. I was just told that... That Magda could help me. Please. Who, pray tell, told you that. Ben Rimei? Like everyone? The innkeeper at the journeyman. Oh, and who would that be? Ben Rimei. Ben Rimei Salmon. My name is Ben Rimei Salmon. I see. So Ben Rimei. I hope I got her last name right. Now why would you do a thing like that? Because I'm... I'm, um... Not from around, around here. That at all. That is quite obvious. Very well, dear. I do believe that you're as lost as you seem to be. Yes. Magda. Please help me. Just Magda, mind, and you would do well to address me as such. Either that or ma'am. All right, ma'am. No honorifics. Ben Rime ought to have made that clear to you. I will try and assist you with any questions that you may have. Yeah, like, Maybe how do I get home? The right direction, but be discreet. Like I said, there are ears everywhere. Uh, Why did help. the innkeeper tell me to see you? Most likely because I have assisted travelers like you before. To get home? But the times have changed. Oh no. Curia has become a very dangerous place for people like yourself. For me too, but I belong here. You do not. Okay, I'll make to get home. I just want to go home. And so you should, with haste. There's no adventure to be had here. Not anymore. Great. So How do I get home? For me. Like I said, I will assist you with any questions you may have. And I will point you in the right direction. But that is all I can do. Okay. Uh, April. Do you know anyone by the name of April Ryan? April? I may have heard that name. I need to save her. What would you with her? 
I don't know. I need to find her. We have something in common, and I think... I think she's in trouble. Yeah. Do you intend to save her? How do you propose... I don't know. The little girl told me to. Either. I just need to find her. Hmm. Well, I apologize, but I... That's okay. It just told me to get home, then. Home. Can you help me get back to my world? No, I cannot. It's too dangerous. But I can point okay. you in the direction Great. of someone who might be Show able to help you. You will need to enter Old Town. The, the magic ghetto. ghetto. Oh no. After our protectors rebuilt the wall. Ugh. The entrance to the ghetto is across the square. The gate is usually open, but right now the soldiers are conducting a raid. All right. You'll have to wait until they open the gates again. When is that? I want some on the inside. Seek out an artisan of the magic craft. Their skills have been mostly outlawed by the Azadi, except inside the ghetto. A practitioner of the craft might be able to help you draw on your latent talents to open a gateway. But be careful. Do I need that egg? Because I am missing the egg. They would show no mercy. You would be sent away to stand trial. Powers? They fear I have powers powers. now? They are doing their best to control it and everyone who uses it. And I fear That's... I understand that. Endeavors. Like I said, you would stand a better chance of getting home if you visited Old Town. Okay. Uh, goodbye. That's all I needed to know. There. Don't get in the way of the Azadi soldiers. If they knew whence you came. Why can't they help me get home? They don't want me here anyways. <gasps> hey. You. You were in the... in this, the inn. Please. What do you want? Help me. I hear you're looking for a way into the ghetto. I am. You... Oh, wait. Weren't you at the inn this morning? Yeah, you were. There are soldiers around. Follow me. Okay. I'm not following you anywhere. Oh, Actually, I am. To the ghetto. Just hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is... It's Worm. Worm. Okay. That doesn't exactly inspire trust. <laughs> How do I know I can trust you? Back at the inn, I heard you say the name April Ryan. You know her. I may know how to get in touch with her. You do. Well, bring me to her. How? You'll just have to trust me. Okay. If you overheard me talking to the innkeeper, you know I'm not from from around here. I can't just follow any stranger I meet on the street. That's true. I mean, how she's do I being careful. Lead me into a dark alley, knock me out, tie me up, and drag me into a basement somewhere. I promise I won't drag you into a basement. <laughs> Thank you, promise. What choice do you have? You're stuck here, aren't you? Yeah, that's you true. Who can take you to Ray? To April. Okay. You're looking for right? Ray. Okay. What was he gonna say? What do they call her? But if you're lying to me. I'll scream. I can scream pretty loud. I'm sure you can. I promise no basement. Thanks for the promise. Oh, all okay. right. Oh, that thing looks like a spider. We don't want to stay close. I am staying close. We're almost there. It's just around in the middle of this. Okay, I thought we were going to be in the middle of the road and I was like very discreet. Oh, is there a hole or something over here? There's a secret door, it seems like. <gasps> no! Careful, She's a screamer. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. I still hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay notified next time I upload a video, please press the notification bell. On the next episode of Dreamfall The Longest Journey, we are going to be finding out what happened to us. We got kidnapped. I know we promised no basements, but I feel like it involves a basement. Anyways, that's it for me for today. Bye!